Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem in motion of a body in a plane or a two-dimensional motion. Let's first understand what is given in the problem. The problem is like this. There is a particle which is thrown over the triangle from one end of a horizontal base and grazing the vertex, it falls on the other end of the base. If alpha and beta are the base angles and theta is the angle of projection, show that tan theta equal to tan alpha plus tan beta. That's what's the problem that we need to show. We need to prove. Let us first try drawing a diagram to understand what is given in the problem. It is given that a body is projected with an angle theta which is other than 90 degree like this it is projected with an angle theta with a velocity of course u with an angle theta it is projected over the triangle this way this is a triangle it is given that the base of the triangles are making an angle alpha and beta where this is the h maximum the path of the projectile is something like this it has strike in the vertex and again it has reached the path then we need to find a relation between this alpha beta and uh, theta first of all we know that the path of a projectile is parabola the parabola can be expressed as if you remember we have verified this proved this multiple times as x equal to say for example u cos theta into t where i have resolved this u into components u cos theta along the horizontal direction is called vector resolution u sin theta along y direction so i am calculating the displacement after some time t along y direction we can write u sin theta into t minus half g t square from here t is nothing but equal to x by u cos theta and i can substitute that value here y equal to u sin theta in the place of t x by u cos theta minus half g t square means x square by u square cos square theta so it is nothing but equal to tan theta into x minus g by 2u square cos square theta into x square this path as tan theta is constant and g by 2u square cos square theta is constant it will be taken like y equal to ax minus bx square which is nothing but a path of a projectile is parabola if i have taken tan theta into x common from this equation 1 minus g when x is taken common by 2u square cos square theta as tan theta is not there but i have taken it in the common i shall write it in the denominator also that means for the second term simply i have multiplied and divided with the tan theta itself now simplifying this further we can write this further as y is equal to x tan theta one is common here of 1 minus gx by 2u square cos square theta tan theta i can write it like sin theta by cos theta cancelling on cos theta what is remaining is x tan theta of 1 minus gx by 2 into u square 1 cos theta got cancelled already cos theta and sin theta so that's nothing but equal to this is nothing but equal to x tan theta of 1 minus gx by u square of 2 sin theta cos theta is a trigonometric formula sin 2 theta that's nothing but equal to x tan theta of 1 minus 
x by r where r is the range of the horizontal projectile or rounded projectile which is nothing but equal to u square sin 2 theta divided by g so we can write an equation for the y as x tan theta upon minus x by r where x is a horizontal distance and y is a vertical distance simultaneously from the diagram we can further write from the given equation we can write tan alpha plus tan beta as some value so if i call this value as y tan alpha is nothing but equal to if i call this distance as x this distance becomes automatically r minus x because the total distance is nothing but equal to range so tan alpha is nothing but equal to y by x and tan beta is y by r minus x simplifying this further x into r minus x y of r minus x plus y x y x y x will cancel so its value is nothing but y r by x of r minus x so the equation that i have got is tan alpha plus tan beta is equal to r into y by x of r minus x here we have got an equation y is equal to what we have got is nothing but equal to y is nothing but equal to x tan theta of if i have taken r as a common r minus x by r now comparing these two equations equation number uh, 102 you can see the rhs is y r by x of uh, r minus x from here if i have written what is tan theta what is that y into r by r minus x into x so treat this as equation number one treat this as equation number two by simplifying this equation further we got tan theta equal to something we have also got the same value as tan alpha plus tan beta so what i can write is from equation number one and two i can write as rhs are equal tan theta is nothing but equal to tan alpha plus tan beta that's what we are supposed to prove right thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you